Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to welcome the new nuncio into Kenya, His Excellency, Bishop Purpet, Purpetus Mateus Maria Van Megan. And uh, we thank you for responding really to our prayers. And so we ask you also to really work with him as he begins this new responsibility and uh, to help us to work together with him in his responsibility, being a representative of uh, the Holy Father we may be able to do all what is in line with our identity and with the mission that we have, all of us, be it as uh, ordinary Christians or as um, the um, uh, priests and deacons and as bishops and archbishops. And so that working together, we may be able to make the presence of the Lord be felt in our country. May you, Lord, enlighten him and walk with him and so that he may be able to fulfill that serious responsibility that uh, attends to the, uh, the representative of the Holy Father. The Conference of Catholic Bishops of Kenya, the Christians of the various dioceses of Kenya, men and women religious and priests, all movements within Kenya, starting from the Pontifical Missionary Children to the highest level, we want to say welcome, welcome, and welcome again, and Karibu. Okay. We shall promise and assure you that we are going to work together so that the Word of God will continue in its momentum of evangelization within Kenya. So thank you and welcome here and uh, we want to encourage you and to give you that support that you continue visiting all the dioceses in Kenya to know where Kenya is and how Kenya is and who Kenyans are. We are just a sample of it. You know this, this whole welcome is overwhelming for me. Uh, this morning I left because I was losing in Khartoum. I left the city in chaos, as you may know, and come here, and it's like another planet for me. By the way, also the temperature. I left Khartoum with 45 degrees, and I come here, and what do we have, 26, 27, maybe. I really look forward to come to know you more, and this eminence was speaking about enlightenment, and that is really what I need. The enlightenment of the Holy Spirit in order to do my work. Because if there's something that I've learned through the years is that on my own, I can do nothing. But with God, everything is possible. And many times you might think, how am I ever going to do this? Kenya is an important country. The Church of Kenya is important in the World Church. And the Holy Father has put me here and I scratch myself behind my ears and I tell myself, how am I going to do that? But I'm sure that with your prayers, with your support, this Church will grow further. The Bishop was speaking about that the Word of God may spread because the Word of God is about love, is about sense of life. And as you were singing, you expressed that by yourself with your heart, that that word gives you life, gives you, I would say, nearly extra life, more life than others. And that is what we stand for. And that is why always and again we reflect on the Word of God, and it's always and again that we receive the Holy Sacraments, that we receive the body and blood of Christ, in order that that heart of Jesus will beat also in our own hearts. That we will become like blood brothers and blood sisters 
of Christ himself because we share in that same body and in that same blood. Together we stand for that church. I was mentioning here to the bishops that three weeks ago I was with the Holy Father and of course in preparation for this visit he also mentioned that he is praying for the church in Kenya and he was encouraging me to put as soon as possible the bishops into their new diocese to find new bishops as soon as possible because of being a sacramental church we cannot do without bishops that is like to say because in the sacrament that's where Jesus lives and it is through the priests and the bishops that he comes to us so once again thank you very much for receiving me at this late hour thank you for your songs for your music really that touches me moves me encourages me and I'm a bit of dancer so I always have to be careful not to dance too much because <laughs>